Canadian businessman Brian Blatherwick became a multi-millionaire selling Halloween costumes. The business started from nothing, just Brian and his wife Barbara making costumes in their home. And once it took off, their life was a wonderland. Fancy cars, big houses, world travel, expensive hobbies. When manufacturing moved to China, Brian was away half the year, leaving Barbara to look after their kids. In Asia, Brian found more than a factory. He found a bevy of much younger women. Brian started cheating on Barbara, building secret second families, even though he was still married. In 2004, Barbara discovered Brian's infidelity. And when they talked divorce, Brian made a remarkable promise. Brian vowed she would get none of his money. He said his millions were protected by a brotherhood of trust. He was telling the truth. In 2010, Barbara couldn't take his cheating anymore. She hired a lawyer and filed for divorce. And that triggered an epic legal battle. For six years, Brian worked to keep his promise that his wife would get nothing. Her lawyer, John Cox, fought layers of secrecy, offshore banks, foreign registered companies, dubious bankruptcy, and the Brotherhood of Trust. The Brotherhood was a cabal of business partners willing to lie, cheat, and forge documents to help Brian. They helped pay his legal fees while Barbara struggled to find a minimum wage job. Eventually, Brian's lies caught up to him. A judge declared him to be a lying cheat and ordered him to pay Barbara $10 million. But that didn't end Blatherwick versus Blatherwick. Brian refused to pay. He refused to comply with almost every court order. Last year, a judge sent him to jail for six months for contempt of court. When he came out of prison, he still didn't pay. He said he couldn't pay. The Brotherhood controlled his money. This month, he faces the judge again, and Brian is bracing for another six months in jail.